Cella Refresher Kosh Definition of Terms Part 2 Construction Occupational Safety and Health This is a condition or practice that could reasonably be expected to cause death or serious physical harm before abatement under. Normal enforcement procedures can be accomplished. C. Imminent danger. In demolition safety, this control is characterized by ensuring separation between the public and the demolition activities. B. Elimination. Which control is demonstrated by the use of power shears, in place of grinding or oxyacetylene cutting, where there is a risk of fire? C. Substitution. Installation of scaffolds, platforms, guardrails, shoring and bracing to support loads are examples of this type of risk control. A. Engineering control. This type of risk control includes limiting the amount of time a person is exposed to a particular hazard implementing safe working procedures for all hazardous tasks, and training all personnel. D. Administrative control. A workplace where there is moderate exposure to safety and health hazards, and with probability of an accident, injury or illness, if no preventive or control measures are in place. C. Medium Risk Establishment A workplace where there is low level of danger or exposure to safety and health hazards and not likely or with low probability to result in accident, harm or injury or illness. B. Low Risk Establishment A workplace, like construction sites, wherein the presence of hazard or potential hazard within the company may affect the safety and or health of workers, not only within but also persons outside. The premises of the workplace. There is a high level of exposure to safety and health hazards and probability of a major accident resulting to disability or death or major illness is likely to occur if no preventive or control measures are in place. D. High-Risk Establishment Establishments, project sites, and all other places where work is being undertaken wherein the number of employees, nature of operations, and the risks or hazards involved in the business required compliance with the provisions of Republic Act 11,058. A. Covered Workplace A formal process to identify potential hazards related to an activity or operation, analyze the level of risk associated with those hazards, and propose controls to reduce the levels of risks. C. Hazard Identification, Risk Assessment, and Control A formal process to identify the dangers of specific job tasks in order to reduce the risk of injury to workers. It involves breaking down the steps of performing a job, identifying hazards at each step, and creating controls to keep workers safe while performing that task. B. Job Hazard Analysis
According to the OHH standard, standard railings shall be at least how many meters from the floor level to the upper surface of the top rail. A1 What is the maximum spacing of posts in a standard railing? D. 2 meters According to OSH standards, this shall be the minimum width of stairs including handrails. C. 1.10 meters This is the minimum width of stairs without the handrails. A. 0 0.90 meter A general term used to describe a temporary structure of timber or metalwork with a platform used in the construction, alteration, or demolition of a building or other maintenance work used to support workers or to allow the hoisting and lowering of workers, their tools and materials. A. Scaffolds A scaffold hanging by means of ropes or chains capable of being lowered or raised by winch, pulley, block or such other means. D. Suspended Scaffold A platform supported by a single row of uprights or standards tied along the wall, connected horizontally by a ledger, and supporting putlogs which rests on ledger on one side and in holes left in walls on the other. B. Single Scaffold A platform supported on two rows of uprights or standards parallel to wall of a building connected by horizontal ledgers and is independent from the building wall. C. Double Scaffold A scaffold member that holds standards or uprights in a fixed position to prevent any lateral movement. D. Brace Every scaffold shall be capable of supporting how many times the maximum load to which it may be subjected without exceeding the allowable stress? A. Twice In bamboo scaffolds, material and construction shall be sufficient to carry at least how many times the imposed load? C. Four times. What color should be used for safety signs relating to fire protection and combustion warning? A. Red. What color should be used to direct traffic in the workplace? B. White What color should be used for alert to designate dangerous parts of machines or energized equipment which may cause injury hazard? D. Orange